Welcome to the gameplay stream portion. We had a special, special thing. Uh, it's so special we want a top secret. And we got a secret game. Uh, I'm gonna have to mute this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that real quick so that way when I hit it, you don't see it. So hit that. Getting that loaded up. Okay, like there we go. How, I like how I just see go. a picture to leave like 15 seconds. Here we go, guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. This might spoil a little bit of what it might be. Uh oh. What could it be, guys? Of course. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, yeah, guys. We're playing Bastard oh. Baroque by Emerald Nova and Night of Dragon today. Big, big yes. energy. Big energy, I like guys. I don't know what that is. It is a game. Oh, well, that's fair enough. Let's watch that's it. Sufficient it's description. A, <laughs> it's top it's secret. A, it's a action RPG by Atlas. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that is a banging intro. Mmm. I didn't hear that. That's mmm. 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 Yeah. There we go. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me listen. Ah, wah, to ah, wah, ah, wah, ah, 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 I yeah, like I'm it. Yeah. My Discord. I can't hear a thing that he's talking about. Kind of reminds me of, like American Woman. American Woman. Uh, the with the Lenny Kravitz version of it. It sucks how I have to tune into YouTube to watch it's it. About, like, it's about bounds. I mean, is it good? Is it good? That's that's all I'm gonna ask. Is, Probably not. Is it good? No, I'm just joking. It's it was a lot of fun when I played of it. Cause it doesn't have a dad. Well, that's mm, this soundtrack is bopping. This is gonna get added to my iPod later. I think it's mostly about the atmosphere. Are you yeah. showing your video in the Discord? Oh no, I'm no, not. No, no, we're watching on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, Let me go do that. Oh, now it's gonna get a bit better on our there end, we I go. guess. Oh, 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 yeah, so, so the game is, oh, oh, oh. is very hashtag deep. Uh, everything is a metaphor for something or another. Um, it's, it's probably not gonna come through in this translation at all. Yeah. But hey, we get this awesomeness. Yeah, that FMB's awesome, man. That this music is, is bopping. PS1 version, right? Sorry? Is the opening from the PS1 version? Uh, I mean, this is the Saturn version. I don't know if... Uh... Actually, let me go look it up. Who I don't came think the first? the Saturn one had an opening. I mean, I don't think he added... I don't think he added I, to it. I did not add FMVs. Yeah. Huh. I'm gonna go delete that. But yeah, we got English rank. Thanks. Yeah, you're gonna wanna like stretch considering the the amount of progress that has been made. Oh, cool. Wow, uh, that's yeah, awesome. I'm gonna ignore that. I'm just ignore that. I didn't see that. Whoa, what just happened? I that's hit the light. Best settings menu I've ever seen. I hit light and then okay. like. Uh so there is light and dark menu, and I don't think I bothered translating that yet. That's not a big deal. Yeah, this That's is like early, early beta, so... <laughs> Game breaking early. bug. Stir. Vigium volume. Fix volume. Oh, 16 by 9? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're doing 16 by 9. You're gonna have to adjust your capture setup if you're gonna do that. Really? Oh. Probably. Dang it. Sorry, guys. Ooh. Next time. Data. Or data. Let's see. What should we name ourselves? We dick got butt. any name? Huh? You say dick butt? I think there. You get five characters. I'm sure there's a way of of, of writing that out. I don't. I, I only have. Uh, the only the only letters I have is M H I J K L N O P. Just call yourself Pat. P A T. How about just? Oh, there is on the bottom. I'm dumb. You use the triggers. Pages. Oh, there we go. Just repeat A like until all slots are filled. I can't do that's illegal. It uh, is legal. In a certain way. What are you talking about? Point of view? There we go. EK butt. Donkey, Donkey Kong butt. Yeah, Donkey Kong butt, that's it. I <laughs> joke. And suddenly our average age has lower two randoms. Hey, you there know what? Go. Gotta... Youth burn. 
T4, C4, Japanese text, MRI, Japanese text, Japanese yeah, text. I, I'm getting a, a strong indication that this is probably not going to get translated in this position of the game. So, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, of... yeah, I was, I was oh, just joking. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, being... I'm using my new controller that I got from Japan. I knew to me Thank you. controller got the gray one, the blue buttons on it. So, for the record, guys, Baroque was published for the Saturn on May 21st, 1998, and was then later ported to the PlayStation 1. Oh, that's that's cool. You shouldn't go here. Go to another town. I'm gonna hit him. Take that. Go to. Stop it. Go go to Nerve Town. Not Nerve Tower. Nerve Tower. So we got some English going on. Check. Trying to check some of the menus. So it is the bastard Baroque because this is the bastardized translation. Uh, this is the path of least resistance to getting English into the game. I thought this was like all of a sudden uh, some hidden lore that this was related to the bastard series. Uh, not oh, to my like knowledge. the anime? I need to watch that, by the way. Uh, just for some reason, it looked like the the text on it where they wrote bastard on it was. Uh, yeah, uh, familiar to that, but obviously I'm wrong. Are you watching what? the new anime of that? Are are you are are you playing Broke or Darius? Yes. <laughs> Both at the exactly. same time. Yeah, I don't know how exactly. you manage to be lined all your way to the to the fish. Those are not usually the first thing you experience. Yeah, no, you're supposed to go in the village, but I just want to do, take a little detour. Looking around. There's there's a ball and redness in that. What's this VT? Does this have anything do? to do with Shin Megami Tensei? Not uh, really. I, I guess because it's Atlas, maybe they might have references to it, but I don't know anything. No. It's not it's not like Devil Summoner. Neck is that really his name? Neck. So uh, everyone's name had to be truncated along with all their text. Uh, so. Um, what, what, what's this guy's actual name? Let me uh, double check real quick. I want to beat him. It's His name is Neck Thing, and I shortened it to Neck. That's fair. Gonna get mad. Ooh. Stop that. Gonna get mad. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. I can just punch him. I'm pitting people. No. Horn. Eyes won't stop twitching. Well, that's creepy. So, I, in my infinite uh, wisdom and... and you know, uh, premonition knew that this was going to happen, so I managed to try to squeeze in all the translations for everyone's uh, hit getting hit in the game. That's you fair. Pat, no, it, it's Pat it's, was going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, he, 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 he reads me like a book. It's kind of funny. And Angel speak, go to N. Uh, let me see okay, just so, cut off. Uh, it looks like your version is about five minutes old because I had uh, a last minute patch to get all those on one line. Oh, crap. But, um, the whole thing about Sackman is he doesn't really speak for himself. He just kind of quotes what other people say. Oh, okay, that's fair. I'm guessing he was hit before if he was saying that. Coffin. Here you'll be attacked by fish. Arc. Arc the other way. I like hit him. I hit him so hard he just like he just like can't even speak properly. He's like. Bleh, 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 bleh. I like Speaking gave him like a. In tongue. I gave him like a brain aneur brain aneurysm by just hitting him. Yeah, I might have missed one or two of the lines, but well, uh, well, essentially I... in, the, in the in the first run of this game, uh, you're supposed to go uh, talk to the Archangel, whose name has been shortened to Arc A, and he will uh, give you instructions on what to do. That's fair. Where is Arc A at? Uh, you know what? I want to say that it's where the sprite was pointing, but it doesn't feel like that's correct. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna hit him a couple more times. Also, what's this VT mean? Uh, vitality. Why is it lowering? Uh, well, you just kind of run out of vitality as you exist, and you need to like eat things or kill things in order to re replenish it. This is the, it's the other way. Existence is pain. Recover lots. Cool. Well, I, I guess that explains it. Oh, here it is. R RK. Amnesia can ta can't talk. Luckily, that's your only problem. Like it. You're here to learn what to do, okay? Go to Nerve Town Depths. Using. That has significance. 
Okay, I just have to equip that. I'll equip that. Yeah, that is the uh, angel rifle. Nice, I got the angel rifle. You get five shots, I would be conservative with it. Oh, well. That sucks. So, some joke is already made there about blowing your load early. Early? Yeah. Yeah, there, there, there's a joke there. I think I just wasted it, by the way, but... I had to... I have to beat him up with my fist now. This is a early, uh, I guess, alpha of a translation for broke. Their Boca's retro stuff. Yeah, yeah. So this, uh, uh, what should be complete is for uh, a couple exceptions. Um, all of the uh, first runs text. This is a roguelike game, so you need to run this multiple times with the same save file. Yeah. Uh, on a fresh save file, most of what you should encounter right now should be in English. And all the items are translated, so as you go through the first seven floors, uh, you should be able to understand what's going on in terms of combat and what have you. Uh, and, kind of uh, of Kingsfield. It's, uh, actually, wait, wait, who made Kingsfield? Is it also Atlas? Uh, no, that's, uh, that's, um, the guys that did, uh, uh, Dark Souls. Oh, Soft. yeah, 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 from, from, from Soft. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's also another, like, uh, hashtag moody, uh, first-person RPG experience. Big kind of bang. trips me out that you're, like, able to describe a game that came out, like, 10 to 15 years before the idea of a roguelike was... Uh, coined as that phrase and like I mean, are you able to describe Nethack, this game? NetHack has been a thing for a while. I think it's like from 1980. Mm. Something like that. Yeah, so this was way after Rogue and there, there were rogue, a lot of roguelikes since then. Like, a roguelike is like the easiest way to make an RPG because you don't have to write the story or set up a bunch of situations. You just need to make a procedural engine and just let the the player experience it i guess so the um, i haven't really heard the term until like the 2010s oh, well they became they just became popular but i think rogue is really old like mm. even older like second generation are you talking to your dog uh Albert? Oh, no. Albert. Albert, you might want to... You're on comms. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, can you get those messages that... Uh, yeah. I don't think that, uh... Okay. Chad, I might want to remove those. What is that? How do they even find us? They saw Bastard Baroque and probably thought of something sexy, I guess. Huh. Oh god, I'm weak. <laughs> How do I get more health? Does it have to kill stuff? <laughs> Look in your inventory, see what you can eat. <laughs> I got evacuate blaze. I'll use blaze. Probably wasted that, but whatever. Yeah, Please. so usually you'll, you'll want to find a heart or flesh to uh, replenish health. That's a the bones are generally uh, uh, offensive in nature. Gotcha. So the messages have been deleted, I guess, but we're still showing it on stream because OBS. Yeah, nice. no, they deleted it. It says message deleted now. Yeah, there's not much we can do about it, sadly. Uh, whatever that is, may explode. I'll open up whatever. Glasses. Is the clock supposed to be not round? Like, is your is your uh, T? What? TV like the the clock just now? It was, it wasn't round, and your your your. Uh, Should be the same resolution. 
Uh, did you switch it to 16? No. Well, okay. uh, that's weird. In the upper left, the the yeah. counter with the five, it's also a bit slim. I don't know. It's it's fine to his me. His capture setup just might be just slightly off. Maybe. It should be where the default is. I didn't touch it. So, um, Let's see, I guess w once you get to the bottom floor, you've already kind of blown out the angel gun, which uh, may may impact your ability to make progress yeah. here. Oh, oops. Oh, crap. Well, uh, I didn't expect that. Oh. Oh, yeah, you walked right into a trap. Nice. I Doing did. great, Pat. We believe VT in gone. you. My VT is gone, guys. Uh, now I'm I think health. that means your health is going to start depleting with time. Yeah, I'm just trying to find a different floor. I, w I had one Vitality left. Nice. Idiot. Do you have any items you could use so, to... Generally, flesh will allow you to... Uh, so, go look at that chicken leg and see what it can Norris. do for you. I'll recover. Nice, I'll use that. Uh, idiots. I'll eat that, I guess. Does Big he have bang. any health items, Emerald? Oh, uh, he, he has all those flesh items. I'm trying to find the sword. What are they called? Uh, what What is what called? So I, there's like an average flesh that I'm, that I'm looking at there. That should be able to recover some stuff. Yeah, I'm just trying to find where the, my sword went. When when you kill an enemy and you see a floating orb, oh, that's, that's vitality. That's how you restore your vitality. Got it. Next floor. Yeah, I tried using the 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 the, the streamlabs. Just doesn't work for some reason for me. I probably have to look into that. See what that didn't work for me. Ow! Ah! Dumb meatball thing! Get away! Where? Oh god! Take this meatball thing or snail thing. Hold still. Rotate in the other direction. This won't hold on. I think I have a cure for this. There we go. Got this, boys. Vit. Go. A little bit stronger sword. Uh, hi. Uh, yeah, totally. What have you just said? Oh, crap. I didn't translate the mind reader. Didn't expect good. you to run into her. She's optional. She doesn't always appear. That works. What does she, uh, will, what does the mind reading accomplish? Um, okay, let me just go look up her text files real Ow. quick. What? Um, I mean, it's a lot of flavor and lore text, but as far as instruction on how to play the game, she doesn't really tell you what to do where to go. So she doesn't have, like, any functionality other than giving you lore. So a lot of the people that you meet in the dungeons, uh, you can trade items with. So, uh, like if you if you were to throw something at her, I don't know what kind of items she prefers. Uh, she would likely uh, return the favor. This game is very off-putting, to be honest. I think that's the mood that they're trying to go for. That was intentional. I like it though. I like it. I enjoy it a lot, but no, this is really awesome. The what you put into it so far, I really like it so far. So, glad... so Knight basically got me started on how to just insert text in the game, and that's basically what I've been focusing on. Um, 
so I made uh, uh, the whole text uh, font format so that I could do everything in ASCII and not have to worry about conversion. And then uh, I made those little icons to try and truncate all the descriptions. So uh, when I go to upload this to Sega Extreme later, uh, anyone who's a Sega Extreme patron at any level can download this as I continue to work on builds. And I'm planning on making a lot of progress over this next month. Uh, I should have a glossary of truncated terms that I commonly use and the icons and how you generally want to use them. And uh, the translation was taken from nervetower.org or nervetower.neocities.org, which is in the, the SSP description file. Uh, the, the person who, who runs that website is somewhat secretive, uh, but they gave me permission to use the translation as is with the credit for that website. And you actually see the, the website URL, I believe, at the uh, the bottom of the title card for Bastard Brewer. <coughs> you eat all that vitality stuff. I didn't infinite item. So that's an... Uh, so the... Uh, the worm is a parasite that you use to infect items or yourself. The identify worm allows you to identify whatever item it infects, if it's like an unknown item. Interesting. But yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks to the sheer compliment. I, I like really my hero. Last season kind of sucked. Kind of wish it was better, but you know, next season I'm hoping they'll make it not bad. Moon is pretty decent too. I'm not sure if any of you guys, uh, anyone else in here watched my hero at all. I watched a bunch of it up until the point where they introduced those three really strong students, and then I ran out of episodes, and I never really picked it back up. That's fair. It's really good. I like it. Is there? Do you see any way of uh, of expanding the character limit on some of the on some of the text or? Do you, do you... There's, there's two issues with that. The first is uh, the size of the font. Uh, if if I can, or if I, with Knight's help, I think we've already figured out a way to do this, but we, it's not been implemented. Um, squeezing the characters to half the spacing, I've already made the font sheet to be compatible with that. So if we could try to get double the number of characters per line. You see, those are... Um, 8 by 16 characters taking up 6 by 16 tile slots. The other issue is that uh, the way that the files are arranged right now is all the Japanese text is packed in, and we'd have to expand how uh, how that thing is, is arrayed in, in RAM in order to read it properly. There. Yeah, actually, I was wondering, did you get to try out the Wii version or the Wii version of this at all? I did not. I've only ever played the Saturn version, and I've been using the uh, Nerve Tower translation to guide me. Uh, the, the PS2 and the Wii versions, from what I've seen of like, uh, you know, on just just looking at gameplay footage, mm -hmm. uh, they are presented in a completely different way, and they play in a completely different way. It's not oh, the same game. Yeah, because this one I like. I love the vibe of this one. You're saying it's not the same thing. I'm no, thin. no, it's not gonna have the same vibe. It's it's presented as like a third person, uh, standard for uh, JRPG, with like a spiky-haired protagonist and everything. It's it's not the same kind of. Uh, uh, oh wow, I didn't know he did that. Yeah, he freaks out when he hit him with the knife. Probably was uh, not too. I gotta I gotta add in his uh, his hurt dialogue. I had to go find it, but uh, I'm sorry, Chris. I didn't you. know. So that, that guy has like a, a tumorous growth on his shoulder. Uh, one mm. of them is Urim, the other one's Thurum. Uh, and I didn't know oh, I that see. Urim talked vertically. So I need to change the character uh, limit. But how do I get, where am I supposed to go with this then? So um, they should have just told you to get down to the seventh floor or yeah. something to that effect. Uh, once you get down to the seventh floor, you are going to meet a boss for this run of the game that you would require the angel rifle to defeat. Ah, well that sucks. I'm out of ammo with that. Yeah, the game does not warn you ahead of time about that. So am I kind of screwed on that then? Uh, a little bit, but this is a good uh, practice run, I guess. If I should, yeah, let you know. Oh god. No. 
So your only warning is is that uh, the Archangel is telling you to take this gun and there is significance in you using it. I'm, I'm not trying to editorialize the translation at all. Yeah. So whatever is in the original translation, I either try to insert verbatim as much as possible or only truncate out uh, what wouldn't be uh, useful to the purpose of the, the text box. Well, you, uh, maybe you could ask the guy if if that's really the intention of the line, or if there's anything more of a hint in the in the original Japanese version. I mean, reading the translation, it looks like it's just meant to be uh, a very vague hint. I think needs to put a sh needs to like wear a shirt or something. I guess like copyright gotta got us the. Yeah. I accidentally ran into the monster for the very first time when I was trying to stream this game after uh, doing some initial work on the the translation, and I was caught off guard because that is clearly a, like a naked person on there, and I didn't know if I was gonna get uh, you know demonetized or something. A little bit. Hopefully they'll understand. Eh, uh, but. Uh, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, all good, boys. So, Golden Age nerd, this is Baroque. This is the bastardized translation. They're back. Yeah, we got HD the bots back. back. Naked HD. Uh, the timing is at least appropriate. Yeah, I guess so. Oh my God, I realized what you meant. Wow. Thanks. Uh-oh. Not getting deleted. Uh-oh, looks like we're gonna have to... Shadow Mask gonna be in trouble. Oh, I'm gonna die, by I the way. Ooh, dead. So, like, th the messages aren't even as bad as the username. Yeah, the username's probably the worst part. Oh, wait, did it just send me to the beginning of the game? Oh, yeah, it is a roguelike, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, so you died. I did. And you got reborn in did your you? uh, in your cyber coffin. Got Bjorn, no B J O R N, born again. In, in your oh, born again. In your cryo chamber. The cryo chamber. So I, the my favorite thing is, is that Blue Moon is oh god damn it got got hidden, but like everyone else's didn't. Like the the other one the. One of the messed up nick nickname. Remove that. There we go. Yeah, Blue Moon, you're now you now a mod, Blue Moon. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Everyone, thank Blue Moon for being a mod too. He's our next mod. There we go, Base Blue Moon. Base Blue Moon. Becomes a moon, a moon, a moon. -a. Oh yeah, so, do, do, do. I'm still not completely clear as to what the meaning of this game is, but from what I can tell, uh, you were actually in some sort of experimental medical procedure at the time, uh, in like basically some sort of Kona, because you know this this game is hashtag deep. Uh, and so what you are experiencing, depending on how you're supposed to interpret the script, is I guess uh, some sort of fever dream type deal where you're dealing with your own uh personal issues yeah this definitely is a fever dream for sure but didn't like uh the world get nuked in the intro sequence uh did just... it? yeah it's, it, there was like this big explosions and all the buildings melted and i thought this was like I probably well, do the he, same thing he, for Dan. He, he survived because he go. was in this medical cryo chamber, and now existence is pain, and you have a no, vitality meter, and you yeah. have to somehow survive. What, what's the quote like? Emptiness is happiness, and happiness is emptiness, or something like that. I haven't listened to Smash Pumpkins in a while, so I can't remember what the quote was. Yeah. So re reading the scripts uh, as as much as I've read, uh, I I didn't get that post-apocalyptic part from the game. 
Alright, so remember guys, don't let me use the, the, the angel. Don't and... So, oh, this, this uh, apocalyptic scene in the FMV, that's, that's all like just in his head. He's just imagining the he's world crazy. ending and... and <coughs> well, he's building. being looked after by doctors right now. Yeah, Danthrax, so, like, you're a mod too, so congratulations. What? Uh, Danthrax the mod too, because I remember that he technically is a... yeah. Oh, there you go. Got two new mods, Honestly, congratulations, I... boys. I've not been to this part of the game before, I think. This is some random additional dungeon. Uh, I what don't know, happened? Did you go through the, the crypt, uh, the coffin guy's dungeon? Or, or is that I just went. Different? I just went to the one guy, like he said, go. Now that you got the, the gun, now you can pass and do this. Oh, okay. So you, you talked to the crypt guy. So this is, a, this is the catacombs. Oh, oops. Well, this is a different part of the game, so. Yeah. Uh, so... The, the jumping testicles, uh, you usually just want to gang up on and try to squish them. Um, but yeah, this this mini dungeon, I think, is just there to, to grind up experience and get <laughs> basic uh, additional consumables. I like how you said, I thought you said tentacle, but then I realized, oh, you actually said testicle. You actually no, didn't no, say jumping it's... testicle. Well, I, I don't know how else to describe those things. Well... To, to be honest, that may have been actually the intention of what they were trying to depict. Yeah, this game is yeah, kind of messed like, up. Th this this monster, um, among other status effects, can induce lust. So that is that is one of the status effects in this game. Fair. Well, I guess uh, I guess it is testicles. It's a veritable testicle festival. Test test. Festi festicle? There is an actual testicle festival in the USA. I think you say in Germany. And I was like, that wouldn't surprise me. Ah. Oh, thank you. No, it's it's an American festival uh, where you eat the the appendages of bulls. Oh, yeah, bull testicles. You sure this okay. is not Spain? No, it's America. It's in the in the. I think I remember re reading something on that. It's like a bull eating. Bull thing. testicle eating. Yeah. Palooza. Big bang lots. Ow. I think it was somewhere in the mid in, in the Midwest. In the I need Bible health belt. items. I'ma die. Yes, idiot. I love it when I get idiot. Delicious. So it's really just Baka on that item? Baka me Thai. I, I w really wish we could implement this kind of lighting in a homebrew game. Hey, never say never. See what you're, see what uh, XL2 is doing. I mean, honestly, I don't see any lighting effects here. This all looks like it could easily be flat and baked in. Well, isn't the go the Gorod uh, updating while you are moving t uh, into the screen? Uh, I guess maybe it's it's changing brightness as like a, a LOD effect. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, a yeah. lot of games did that, like uh, Box Slash does it too. Yeah, Golden Age, I think we were saying earlier that it uh, came on the PS2, but it was like almost a different game. It might, it might have just been like a sequel almost. No, I mean, it's, it's basically a remake. Cause oh, it's, it's remake? Kind of telling the same plot but in a different enough way where you don't get the same feeling. Like, uh, the atmosphere is not there. Again! I'm My trying goodness. to kill these people. I can't moderate the chat. I'm getting hit by balls. I don't understand where these bots are coming from. They're coming from the walls. Inside the walls. They really liked uh, like our stream though. Look at that. It must.
must be all the jumping testicles. I'm dead. That's ball. That's actually balls. <laughs> balls. So I think if you die in the catacombs, the coffin man claims your body. What do you mean? Like I think part of the agreement that you take. Uh, I don't know if he if he went through that part of the dialogue with you, but part of the agreement and going in the catacombs should be uh, that he's allowed to take your body because he, he's fitting you for a coffin if you die That's down fair. there. Does that mean he's my daddy now or what? Uh, I, I don't know if there's a daddy in this. I think. Uh, oh my god, I'm losing so much health. Why do you keep fighting the fish over here? This is an trying to level area. up. Okay, I get, okay, that's fair. I mean, I'd get a sword first. We are back that's to fair. level two now. Yeah, it's a roguelike. You reset every time. It completely resets. Yep. Uh, so one thing you can do is you can um, retain your items by throwing them into the sense spheres uh, while you're inside of the dungeon. Looks like I'm gaining health as I'm walking though, so that's kinda cool. Uh if you're if you're full on vitality, uh you can use your vitality to heal like that. Pass. Oh. There's also uh coats that will help with that. Recover lots. Recover Burke. So, what options to make progress other than retaining your items? Why is he not speaking in. Oh, there you go. Take a moment. Uh, if you die, you're I mine. Don't if you agree. So, where else are. Where's the other place do I go? Oh, you got a pathetic sword. That's something. Yeah. Take that. Oh, that's a different guy, so maybe I need to go to another guy. So another place I have to go to that's not that guy? Uh, yeah, you want to go past the uh, Archangel so you can go to the Nerf Tower. Oh, okay, I have to go past the Archangel. Everyone's telling you to go up to the Nerf Tower. Like, if you look in the background, you see a tower. I didn't know there was an there, entrance to it. I see it. Keep walking toward it. That tower sure has some nerve. It's like the Dark Tower by Stephen King. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Trevo. So yeah, this is still a work in progress. I would call this a version 0.21. <laughs> and uh, once the in so there's um, what's the hell? Like eight times sixteen. Let us get derailed. Th there's tens thousands of lines of dialogue that I think I need to go through. But like a line is is only a handful of characters, so um, several pages like get 60 those testicles to 80 pages. out of my face. So progress is not going to be quick, but I'm trying to prioritize what you experience first in the game over what you experience later. But hopefully eventually everything will be done. Is there any like rhythm to not getting hit by uh, all uh, these enemies? Just luck mostly. Kill them faster. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If, or get if a you gun. move toward an enemy during a strike, it's supposed to increase your damage. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, can you keep at a certain distance and you then can, just You, you can kind of do something like this, where it's like you go away. Yeah, you, you, you've got a strafe and you got forward and backward while you're striking, yeah. so you can technically try to dance a little bit, but the gameplay is not that deep. Yeah, it's kind of an RPG. <laughs> this game is pretty it's fun. Though. I really enjoy it so far. So, thank you for introducing it to me. Yeah. So, um, I'm hoping by competition time, uh, the game will have been fully translated as far as the bastardization goes, and then at some point, I'm gonna have to bug uh, Knight of Dragon to help me finish the job for real and actually insert proper amounts of text. Uh, have Trekkies help me uh, encode the video with subtitles on it and get the proper translation going. 
So the the, the bastard uh, translation is uh, designed to be a stopgap. So yeah, it's like it a, a like a demo almost, right? I mean, it's, it's supposed to be technically played. Oh, fuck! If you, that actually just scared me. What? Oh, the illusion! I forgot to translate his lines. Whoops. That caught me off guard. You run into him. He's also, he's also uh, optional and usually kind of rare. Uh, I didn't expect you to run into him. Yeah, I didn't either. That kind of scared the shit out of me. Oh yeah, it's a it's a cheap jump scare, kind of like that fireball. Those, fire. those bars on that uh, on the sides of those pillars they they work really well. Ow! Get out of my face, testicles. It. I'm I'm guessing that this game has active subdivision because of how square and and evenly spaced yeah. the walls are. Like like how you look through them, you can't see the opposite faces because of the backside calling, but it, it still has a nice effect. Um, hey, uh, Tre I, Trevo, I, I is doubt. that uh, Trevo? Can you uh, in in the Discord, can you uh, quote that and at me, and I'll pin that that to the uh, the, the translation thing. Yeah. Just on the Discord so at like find the text and reply and at me, and then I'll 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 pin it as soon as I'm done with this. I don't think uh, semi-transparent uh, uh, objects like that can be back face culled. I don't know how they're doing, what they're doing, but it is, uh, it could be an, an intelligent way Ow. of drawing the pillar. But, uh, or it could just be that the textures are lining up well, based off of how they, they laid it out. Really? Didn't, didn't our, like, electricity oh my lines and blue skies do the same thing and the other side just had back face <laughs> culling? I don't, not. Think, I don't think you can do back face culling on, uh, on semi-transparent. Invent Opponent oh. in XL2 would know better, but I, I recall that being a limitation. Super invincible. Uh, okay, what's this? Did I just get well, derezzed? It does make, it does kind of make sense because if you have something tr semi-transparent, it's often something like a fence and you would want that to be visible from both sides. I, th I think it just has to do with the drawing logic of having to deal with both drawing portions of the texture and also uh, sorting out whether or not to draw it or not. And I think the SGL made a shortcut somewhere. Oh. Wow. So it's Dave just SCL. Uh, the Saturn could the set then maybe Ooh, a Saturn I, like that's still itself HP. could do it maybe. I I don't know. Okay, so like you just lost your invincibility. Yeah, no, I, I can re-equip it though. Uh well I think you had multiple, right? Usually you get packs of bones. Yeah, I have two. I kind, of, I kind of want to save it just for enemies that are really oh, tough. Wait, have you not equipped any uh, equipment so far? No, I, I've equipped the, the absorb. I don't have anything though. Uh, oh, it looks like okay, you've got the absorption sword, but you didn't uh, equip a coat or any wings or anything like that. I don't. Where's the coat at? I. Oh, you just equipped it. Um, okay, yeah. So stun, sunburn, and absorb. Yeah, I didn't have anything till now. I've only had uh, the okay. weapons, so. Right. But it looks like. Um, Nah, the pathetic sword is not good. Okay, yeah, you're 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 good where you're at. Take that balls. Don't hit, don't hit the balls. Oh god! With your, prophet, with your prophetic sword, they 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 might be insulted. I probably should have done it after I attacked him. Oh god! Leave me alone. I have to put on invincibility and get my butt kicked. Wait, I thought I used the, the, the absorb one. That's the absorption sword. Well, why is it not absorbing it though? Well, you're supposed to steal HP when you kill things. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't look like it's stealing any HP. Huh. I don't know how it works then. It's like a random thing where it's like... 
Like sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, it's probably something like that. Maybe it there does. It is. Yeah, I guess, I guess it, I think it's a couple every hit, a couple hits or so. Is the 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 manual also translated? Uh, if you go to nervetower.org, it should be translated. Yes. <coughs> or no, nervetower.geocities.org. Uh, it's it's um uh, it's the link is in the description with the um well not the video description of this game or actually I guess yeah trainer, simulate too and I'll add it in the thing. Yeah. I think I'm gonna make you I'm gonna make this a separate video too so. Okay, so uh, if if you go to uh, the the SSP download file on the Psychic Stream forums, uh, where this is hosted, again, if you, if you want to download this uh, this patch, while it's in progress, it's going to be a a, cool and poisoned. a, a Patreon uh, Sega Extreme exclusive. So you need to be a oh Patreon God. member. I need, I need my invisibility, my last invisibility on this. Yep. But uh, it, in there should be a link to nervetower.neocities.org, and that will have a breadth of information translated for the Saturn version of Baroque, uh, including uh, interviews and, and additional content. And like, this this guy went kind of full Yoko Taro in this game. Like, there's like side stories and and stuff uh, you can read. Oh god, I'm gonna hit by everything. Did you did you beat the game yet? Not Patrick, but uh... no, no. So so I've only been playing as far as I've been translating because I mean the, the game gets kind of uh, weird going forward, and I don't know exactly what I need to do to make progress. I want poisons. So as I translate, I discover more and more of how the game is meant to be played. It's just that it's very obtuse, not that it's insanely yeah, it's... Hard. not that it's insanely difficult to play. You you can you can uh, get through this. Yeah, e yeah. Even even after it's translated, it's it's a somewhat obtuse game. They don't they don't like to spell things out for you. Yeah, I want these more powerful sword. I'm not. Getting good stuff with this. The cryo. If I use that. Evacuate. Yeah. There we go. Oh wow! Holy crap! You, you met that. You met the oracle the second time. Nice. Oh, uh, the mind reader. The, the mind reader. Yeah. He's very. He's very lucky. Take so that, being lady. a roguelike, you can't like 100% predict who you're going to run into in the dungeons. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure you can't actually kill most of these uh, interactable NPCs. He loots. Wow, this this weapon actually is really strong. Yeah, that's that's the thing with this game is you end up finding one piece of equipment that's particularly good. And then you gotta figure out a way to keep it. Like keeping it in the time bubble thing where you can drop your stuff. Uh, yeah, the the sense spheres, I believe, is what they're called. Yeah, this heart, the, this heart thing is getting me anxiety a bit. Well, you're on level seven, so you should be pretty close to where you need to be. Am I on? So, uh, no, I'm, I'm I'm level seven. I'm not on level seven. Oh, sorry, sorry, I forgot. That was your character yeah, level, not the floor level. you're on. My bad. Uh, slow coin. This is called a, a game called Baroque. Uh, this is the ver the version Bastard Baroque that uh, Knight of Dragon worked on. And this is a uh, base version, just like basic like English and stuff, just to get going. That's pretty good. So, I like it. Yeah. So the the bastardized <laughs> translation of Baroque will just let you figure out enough to play the game without yeah. uh to my knowledge i think you said that basically you had to put this on uh sega extreme right later on tonight uh yeah so version two or point two is already on sega extreme for patrons 
and uh, I'm going to upload it after I do one or more, one or two more changes uh, to uh, version 0.21 or whatever I'm going to call it. So whatever version gets uploaded tonight, that's going to be uh, an updated version of what Traino is playing right now. Why? Well, what's? Oh, because I'm probably in battle. I can't remove it. Uh, slow coin. I do not know if it works with the 3D pad. I don't know that that would actually help you too much. We can uh, try. So you, I have virtual pad next yeah, to me you if you can want. Try. After this room, of course, because I don't. I'm getting my ass kicked right now. Thing is, a lot of the times with these games, um, you have to start the game with the control pad in in order to get the effect. Oh. So you don't you don't want to reset while you're still making progress in this dungeon. That's a good point. There's some meat. Yeah, I'm around. trying to get to it. I have to fight the, the pairs of testicles all over the room right now. That's There's a hard. Pair. There's a pair of pairs of testicles. They're all over. The testicles are all over. I can't escape the testicles. Uh, no, I don't think it's really the three. Yo, no, he asked, asked that. Sorry, you oh, answered that. Oh, it's idiot flesh. It's a heart seed and idiot flesh. Uh, I don't want to know, Trevo, your, your story of your life with you having to fight testicles all the time. I think that's something I don't want to know. <laughs> well, there's two options on the menu when I go to different floors. Is that like a yes or no thing? Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why uh, some of those characters aren't showing up. It's weird. Get away from me, Satan. It's like... It's like a nerdy xen xenomorph. Holy crap, I die. Missed what floor is he on right now? What heck? Four, what, oh what is that? It's saying I can't remove this. What is that supposed to mean? Um, if, if you equip it, you can't take it off. Oh, what the heck? How do I get rid of the st the stun board then? Oh, can't remove. Got to throw it away then? Yeah, the stubborn coat you can't remove. You have you have to either have it forced off of you or it's it's just stuck there. Oh man, I want that. I want the uncomfortable one. Yeah. Well. Um... For this run through, I think you're stuck with that unless you figure out a way to deteriorate it. I did not know that. Oh, that's so dumb. Yeah. Yeah, the, oh. this this seems like full net hack where uh, there's like necklaces that strangle you and you don't get, get away to know from me, if... booby lady. <laughs> yeah. So what you what you can do though is you can uh, pick up um, worms and parasites and stuff that can infect equipment to change their properties. So maybe you can deteriorate the equipment somehow or force it to change to flesh or something like that. Or this <laughs> game is... This game is interesting. So, I think it relies a lot on emergent properties of items um, in that they can, items can interact like with that. other items to cause changes. Because the overall structure of this game seems relatively simple in that you're going through the same sets of dungeons over and over again, fighting the same enemies over and over again. Go to a priest like in Shining Force. I don't think it works like that in this game, sadly. Get away from me, small booby lady. I wouldn't call those small. I meant like she's small, not the... You know what I mean. You know what I mean. You know this. You know this. There's only one thing that's small on her, and that's her height. Sure. Sie ist sehr klein. Doch sie ist sehr groß. Big booby lady. How do you say that in German? I'm not gonna teach you new dirty words, you know enough. Come on. Don't be like that. Like the only thing you keep repeating to me in German is like the dirty words you learned. I don't say dirty words. I'm a good Christian boy.
Die, please. I'm so low on health. And it's behind me, isn't it? Yeah, the enemy yeah. I, I see is really dumb. So maybe you can <laughs> exploit that. Like, uh, like you just did. Like, get them stuck somewhere so they keep turning and you can just keep hitting them. The yeah. problem is there's not a lot of topography to work with in these dungeons. It's a uh, flat with straight walls. So if they can't hit you, usually you can't hit them. There's a, there's a lot of pillars. Maybe you can do something with those. Oh, she just blew up. Oh no, the devils. No, go to the right. There's the portal. I see it, but I don't want to fight. Oh, oh I see it. So, I have to fight these two. If you press B, you should be able to bring up a map of the current floor. I see, yeah. Can I, can I, do I have to fight these people, or can I, like, duke them and get to the entrance, exit? Bro, you can just run straight to the end if you want. Oh, hell yeah. Oh god, they got me stuck. Yeah, that's, that, that's the issue with that, is uh, you need to be able to do that if you want to do that. Well, that's close. <coughs> oh god. Oh no, no! Oh god, I'm gonna die. I have to evacuate. Wait, what? What did I do? Did that do anything useful? Ineffective. So if you found if you found a staircase on this level, you would be teleported to that staircase. Okay, that's why this is ineffective, right? Yeah, because uh, there there uh, there might not be a staircase on this level. In fact, I don't even know if I've ever found a staircase on any level. Balls. I'm gonna die. Like if if this guy really went all out on uh, on this game, does is there like additional media like? Anime or manga or light novels. I think there's there are a hentai. several short stories that have been translated on nervetower.geocities.org. Leave me alone, booby lady. So there, there is a uh, add-on and additional side media. Yes. Yeah, this kind of gives me a Fury Road kind of vibe to it. There's like a secretive gentleman running that north tower side and translating all that stuff oh god yeah all right i'm dead i am dead yeah it's gonna oh, be we fat. don't know if, if it's a gentleman or not i don't like the sound of this that's oh true I'm just, I was just giving my best bet. Oh god. Oh god. Leave me alone, please. Please let me alone. Uh, if I kind of found that if I strafe and hit the up button, it increases my speed. Kind of like in Goldeneye. Yeah, it, it, it does so in Box Less, too. Yeah. I wonder why it does that so probably often weird, that... Yeah, probably some weird acceleration uh, thing mechanic they, if they, they messed if up If they with. handle their acceleration for the two different directions differently, then uh, diagonal will always be faster. Yeah, it always is. Shit, alright. Uh, did you come from that portal or did you... Do you need to go there? No, I want to... Oh my god, get into the portal. So, Trevo, I believe there there may, in fact, be art books available at nervetower.neocities.org uh, with translated <laughs> text in them. Oh, God, I almost uh, You died. just have to go pour through, uh, like, uh, all the translated text sections on the website, and there's there's a bunch of additional content that's been uh, translated. It's a shame that the, the, the person is secretive because we could have gotten him on the show and he could like... I mean, we'd always send him a message. Lore. You're sending him a message. We could ask I mean, him if he wants to explore we, they, it. Yeah. It's, it's not a person that you send a message to. They just kind of oh, thank God. show up and respond. There we go. We got help, guys. 
crap where I want the sword. Is this original creator, the Yoko Taro of this game, like a well-known guy, or is it...? Um, I, I don't know who heads Atlas. I don't know if they're still part of Atlas. I went Dark Souls. Here's it, like... <clears throat> what? I went, did Dark Souls. Is it? It's not the same person. No, I don't think it's, I don't think it's Miyazaki. I just wanted to say that, just, just to cause some controversy. Yeah. So, uh, Martin, this is in fact Bastard Baroque, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the translated one, or the semi-translated one that uh, Knight's working on. That's a very nice wall texture, I like that. Bastard, bastard. So, uh, Golden Age Nerd, whenever I do work on Bastard Baroque, uh, it will be on my, um, probably on my stream, uh, which eventually gets uploaded to my YouTube channel. So if you want videos on how Bastard Baroque uh, is progressing, you could sub to my Twitch or my YouTube or whatever uh, to get updates for that. Uh, but mostly, um, I would just pay attention to the Sega Extreme thread for Bastard Baroque. Yeah, on the Sega Extreme forums. Yeah, I'm not gonna have a channel for this because specifically, because specifically that's for the 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 uh his other thing. It's not really work done here for the translation stuff. I mean, if he really wants a channel, I guess we can make one. But it mostly gonna do all the dev work's gonna be on Sega Extreme. So yeah, yeah, it's all it's all gonna be on Emerald Nova and Sega Extreme. So it's not yeah. really um, obviously. Anytime I, I come up with a new build, I'll I'll let the the Shiro guys stick around with it yeah where am I on this map uh so if you hold it I th oh I, I see I'm exploring it so yeah I don't have a map of it so it's just me exploring it yeah oh my god I keep getting the enemies that take half my health trying to kill one oh god stuck <coughs> Yeah, so it's not enough fighting, it's just that I can't do any damage to half these guys, or I lose half my health, so... So, like, the pro tip is that you don't have to fight everyone, and there are items strewn about the floor in every floor, so... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to um, do right now. Just trying to find so all the items. Just, like, you know, just avoid and pick up everything and just toss away everything that doesn't look like it's useful. If you if you found a pair of wings, uh, well, the thing is, I think you're still stuck with that uh, stubborn coat. But if you found a pair of wings, the wings are additional piece of equipment you can wear that are usually worth wearing. Uh, I said picked up something and oh, I, I can't pick it up because I have to drop this. That's probably why. Val, Prosper. Okay. What is this can't brand? So, uh, a sigil will brand, uh, uh, an item or yourself or something with a specific effect. And, uh, I guess, uh, some sigils are only meant to do s on certain kinds of items or only mm. on you or something like that. So, if you try to apply it to something that it doesn't apply to, then it won't be able to do it. Uh, Alk. ba da ba da ba uh, that's not- Alk? Not helping me. Who is this? How do you keep finding all this random crap in the game? I've never seen this before. I have no idea. This is like some. some okay, Eva let me go stuff. look up who this is. Alk. Uh, I don't. I don't even recognize who that was. Alcoholic. Okay, so this is Alice. In chains. Some. Uh. Well, not not at the moment. But oh. Potentially in the future. Um. Hate I that somehow band. I guess shortened her name to Alks. I don't know even when I did that. She must have been in the name list. Uh, oh, balls. I have I translated don't. exactly none of her dialogue. So, what does she say if you have to sing? Okay, um... It depends on the context, because there's, there's just a list of voice lines, and uh, they are all depending on what you've done before in the game. 
Oh, did I just run around in a circle? I kind of did, yeah. Then who, oh, there's who, a wall over who, there. Who is he? Now I'm trying to figure that out myself. Oh god. Okay. If I were to guess, I'm guessing that you had a relationship with her in real life, and this is her representation to you in the simulation. But uh, that or some aspect of your personality that you've um, uh, done something with. Oh, you could have shot her with the Archangel's rifle, and that might have done some feasting. Is she is she still there though, or is she gone? I think she's gone. She's just a floating ball now. Hmm. Is this R. the R. bottom P. floor? Uh, this is six, I think. Uh, okay, so you're not there yet. I'm close. I've, I've honestly never encountered her, and I've I've been to the bottom floor a couple times at this point. Or a few times. One blows away monsters. Okay, I'll keep that if I'm stuck. Pat is is lucky. He's like a rabbit or eyeball. A tanuki. I'll recover lots. You have to let him play oh, the game. You have, a, you have a pair of wings now. They should have a positive effect if you put them on. Let me check. Prevent burn... Oh, is that the wings? The eyeball? Yeah. Prevent bloom lust? It prevents blindness and lust. Ah. Uh, that sounds like something that... Oh, uh, never mind. I'm not gonna go there. Just, it's just... I guess it's a pair of blinders or something. To make sure Blinds you're not tempted. Me. Not tempted to touch, if you know what I'm saying. Tempts the giant green girls. Exactly. Don't want to touch them. AQ. Nope, so many evacuations, bad. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna throw some of these nope. away. Yeah, go ahead, throw them. You don't go blind just because you do that. I mean, that's not what God says. Where does he say that? Oh God, oh God. He's chasing me. <coughs> it is really seem to... Okay, now I'm on floor seven. <clears throat> okay guys can we take on the boss uh i think i think you just have to find the exit of this floor and that's when you meet the boss the, the oh god do i shoot that thing uh i would say yes she does not seem to want to talk or i would just go go to the exit because like it's right there to the left to holy around. shit Oh, you know what? Because what? you died once, uh, I think this counts as the new game plus. So seven is no longer the bottom floor. Are you kidding me? It extends the damn floor. Uh, yeah, yeah. After after your first go, it gets uh, the the dungeon expands. That sounds like BS. By how much? I don't know. I died like three times, so I'm gonna have a lot of dungeon. I don't think it works like that. Sten? The hell's that? Oh, stun. Then so, ming? uh, I'm doing- I'm not doing anything to the save files, so whatever save file you have will be valid. If you accidentally read through a bit of dialogue that's still garbage, and that dialogue was like a one-time thing, then you might miss out on that. Honestly, because of the nature of this game, I would just start a brand new save file every time a new update comes out. Because if you get, like, decent at this game, it doesn't take long to- plow through it all right gun of great force don't want to get rid of that one uh i'll throw this one away i don't need this eyeball 
Fuck, oh fuck. You're a jerk list. Okay, so you got eyeball fluid, which I think is only really useful for curing blindness, if I recall correctly. But, uh, it's better than not having it. Yep. Trying not to die right now. It's a reasonable goal to have. Uh, this game's so well, I don't know. Honestly, I've never heard anyone talk about it. I never hear it on any Japanese list, so I'm assuming no. Um, so... It, it was re-released multiple times, so that says something about their confidence Maybe. in being able to sell this game. Uh, the issue is the re-released versions, the Wii and the PS2 versions, were not reviewed well. Yeah. But, uh, <coughs> let's see, Famitsu gave it a 25 out of 40 for the Sega Saturn. So... I mean, honestly, this game didn't review well in any situation, but somehow they managed to sell it, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to think what I should get rid of. I can't get a, I can't equip this damn thing. So if you have better versions of swords than other swords, just drop the, the, the weaker swords. Like, the, you have a, a plus two attack absorption sword, but that's not going to be as good as your cryo sword, so I just drop it. And that's, that's fair. Well, it's... It's cheap heals though, so I don't know. Uh, it's not worth it. Up. It's like ran random. Mm. Oh, this is, ah. So Damn ah shitsu. is ache, as in stomach ache. So stomach ache is gonna be one of the uh, status effects in this game. Ah, uh, this happens if I eat too much ice cream before dinner, right? Uh, among other things. I'm just, I'm just saying that it might be. Hope unavailable. That sounds uh, sounds about right. Uh, Is this guy attacking me? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so he's explaining programming languages to me. I'm hitting him. Orum. Oh, that's a different orum. What's going on there? He's talking out of his wiener. What the fudge? Um, don't talk out of your so wiener, dude. That's gross. I have no idea how you managed to get this far in the game. I've never seen this person before in my life. This is like, um, is this one of those like the, the, the creepy pasta games where it's like, I'm going to play it and then like, he's going to be come behind me and just murder me or whatever. So he, this is a work. Oh, fun. Cool. Oh, that guy's he's harmless. You can give him items and he'll trade you. But, uh, Oh really? Yeah. The, the spinning two headed guy. You should have said something. But the, the guy with the head for the crotch, um, let me see. He's there to kill the littles. Who? Uh, the littles are other characters in this game that I don't think we've seen yet. But also, uh, you're 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 way farther in this game than I've I've been in. So I'm not. I don't recognize any of these characters uh, from my gameplay just on the website. Fuck! I knew you were something. Well, Pep, why didn't you know that that one creepy-looking thing was friendly and the other re really creepy-looking thing, thing wasn't friendly? Yeah, that's a good point. I should have known. You know what? I'm pretty bad at this game, man. I, I think... Yeah, I, I, it's it's hard to tell, though, because, you know, the, the stuff coming at you, like the knives and shit, you know, you never know. You could just be a friend that's trying to help, you know? Yeah, like the creepy two-headed spinning... Yeah. Yeah, Baroque sold fewer than a hundred thousand copy. Not sure how many, but I've list of all of them sold more than hundred K and Baroque isn't one of them. So that's uh that's probably concerning. In terms of if it's good or not. I think it's, it's got a it's got a cult following, so the fan base that it does have is very much a fan of Baroque. I think the easiest way to tell if something is friendly if it uh, you just gotta hit everything and if it complains about getting hit it's friendly <laughs> yeah so the uh the crypt angel is the thing with the two mask faces and um it will it should complain when you hit oh God. but mostly it's there to trade items with yeah i'm heading out of there i just got blown up how many goddamn oh, wow. floors are there jesus I don't know. Ah, oh my god. Never... Ah! No! 
Oh god! Oh. What? oh, what the? Yeah, you. Okay, this is probably the end of your game. Yeah, I've not been this far. Probably for this reason. Oh, come on, this is some bullshit. Game is longer than I expected. Damage thrown. I know I have some health I items. Oh my god, I can't escape this. I'm stuck and I, I wasted all that ammo from that thing, so. Oh, you didn't stun locked. I literally, I've stuck. Oh, that, oh there we go. Give you seed. Okay. There's a torturer on the ground, maybe that'll be useful. A lot of the times you'll get something that blows up everything in the room. <laughs> Man, this game is scary. That is doing really great. I, I don't like scary games. Maybe I'll just let Pat. I wouldn't say game. great. I'm pretty sure I'm doing bad. You're you're pretty far into the game. You're on basement floor ten. Oh my god! No! 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 Oh god! No! I'm drunk. Is oh god! No. What? Are you kidding me? It it messed up my controls. Causes confusion. Oh. Yeah, you might be confused. Uh. You something oh no you took a bone i'm catching up with the with the the youtube um uh, yeah don't don't gnaw on bones that cause confusion i did not know it did that every night uh, well everybody knows that when you gnaw on bones you get really confused that's like okay well if if, if it's the bone of confusion and you gnaw on it you're gonna get confused all right yeah, okay, I think that's a good stopping point for me. I yeah. didn't... Wait, what the heck? Next floor? Oh, I have to go back. Yeah, no, uh... No, you died, so you, you oh go back Oh my god, that's so dumb. Man, I did not realize I ganked on it. I was so close! Oh man, oh god. That was, maybe, uh... That was brutal. Maybe I'll, let, I'll just <laughs> let that... Maybe I'll just let Pat play this game without sound on Discord, so I won't get too scared. That was scary really scary. Games. Yeah, I'm gonna pin this. Okay. Alright, yeah, that's, uh, sorry guys. I wish I could play further, but I have to play it all over again, and that was a lot of work. Oh my god, please! Naked HD, leave- I timed you out. Somebody ban this person. Is it just or, a new account every time? Because it seems like that's what a bot would do. Oh my gosh, please stop. Please in timeout. How can I put them in timeout for, for like a century? You can't just ban them? It won't let me ban them. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Hide the user on this channel. Yeah, I guess it is. I guess it is hiding. That's weird. All right. All right, guys. I think that's about it for us tonight. I want to thank Shadow Mask. Uh, Shadow Mask. I'm so stupid. Well, thank you for banging those people. But thank you, Emerald Nova, for showing us this amazing game and translating it and trying your best to uh, allow me to play it. Also, this guy doesn't like me very much. I think I'm gonna get my ass. Yeah, I'm gonna kick his butt. But yeah, thank you again for playing this. Hey, this bastard Baroque. This is for the Saturn uh, tra oh, fan translation. Uh, we'll put the <laughs> what? <laughs> we're gonna put he this on go elsewhere, go away. yeah but yeah we'll put this on the uh uh put this on the youtube channel up as a as an its own download and we'll uh or its own video and we'll showcase it but yeah thank you again everyone know for letting us play this and showing off this amazing game hopefully right, yep. we'll be able to play the full version i wouldn't say soon i'm gonna put pressure on you but when you're ready because i'd be really excited I, to play I, it i'm planning on having technically all the text translated by uh, competition time. Awesome. Awesome. All right, then. Well, we got a lot of uh, got a lot of other stuff we sh games we show off. I have another game I kind of want to play next game stream as well. It's a translation, so or not a uh, sorry homebrew game. So that'll be pretty fun. 
But anyways, thank you again guys for watching. And then remember, oh hold on, let me get my OBS for this. Remember, you must play Sega Saturn.